sir. Hi, uh, I'm Sonjay. Today I'm going to show you uh, uh, how to check the if you have a misfire your engine and then how to tune up your engine. So replace the spark plug. So uh, this is the machine I told you last time. Uh, this is the Innova uh, 3100 uh, OBD2 scanner. So before if you have a misfire, uh, how do you know whenever you drive a little bit uh, like uh, uh, engine is gonna shaking uh, like uh, whenever you uh, stop by the like uh, the color lights you can uh, like uh, feel it's like a little bit shaking so that's the misfire so how to check your misfire so how many uh, uh, misfire you have your engine uh, then you, you can check uh, you have to know uh, how to check with this machine so obd2 scan so this is the way right there so I don't know you can see it so the slot is right here maybe it's gonna be this area left to right check the left to right my one is over here so right hand side so I'm gonna uh, do you see the key? can I get the uh, key so I need the engine so right there it's gonna It's going to load in, read in OBD2 scanner. This is the OBD2 scanner looks like. This is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, connected. It's still reading. Still reading. It takes maybe one minute. It's up to your car computer, you know. So you have to. It's miscommunication. So I'm gonna read again. So you have to turn, get the key. Turn on everything like this. Not this tab. Just the turn on. Okay. Turn on like that, and then you can see everything right here. Then if like this, it doesn't want uh, the uh, reading, so you have to go back, remove it, and put it back again. So don't turn start. So this machine is a smart machine. Even the start, I can read it. I'm going to show you. But the you, if you use the regular machine, you don't have to start. You have to wait until read the machine. There we go. You have a P0300 code. So it's have a two different two three difference. I'm gonna show you other video. So what is the problem? You have to see P300. What is what is that mean? You know. So that means you have a random misfire. You have a random misfire. Uh, I'm gonna teach you what is the random misfire. Why P0300 code? So I'm gonna show you right now. Start. Even the my smart machine start, so it's gonna read everything. This is the live data. So my uh, my one have a O2 sensor and catalytic converter problem. It's not the problem. Is you can see anything is called over here. That means good to go. Don't you don't have to replace the catalytic converter. You don't have to replace the O2 sensor. Look, if you uh, like this, never go to the uh, never go to the mechanic. They're gonna cheat you. You don't have uh, no codes just run run like this your computer so uh, like uh, the, the drive your car the catalytic converter and auto sensor going uh, uh, the like uh, uh, remove it so then they won't have no problem because of this car sitting long time eight nine months or until one year it stays same place if the sensor getting bad so you have to drive only if you drive 10 15 uh, probably 20 minutes like 15 miles is gonna go or go away that is not the problem for the catalytic converter auto sensor you have to just drive keep your mind so we're gonna go over
uh, to replace the tuner. So replace the spark plugs. So you don't need this one right now. You don't need it? Okay. So what is the PC P0300 codes? Specific uh, Toyota vehicles, you can see this one. Because of, if you show up, if your uh, car show up P0301, that mean your uh, number one, number one, uh, spark plugs not working. If you have a P0302 code, your second second cylinder uh, spark plugs not working. If you have a eight cylinder, uh, show a P3, P0308, uh, that means you have to replace eight. The P0300 code is exactly different. That means you have a random misfire, no matter what, you have to replace all these. I have a one, two, three, four. We have to replace four of them. Right now I'm going to show you how to replace it easy way. Before you uh, open it, clean this one, okay? Because of your engine can block these uh, dirty things, okay? Check out like this. So I'm going to teach you uh, one by one. So I think you can see it clearly. So I'm going to be back up because the, you can't see anything video. I have to be clearly with you. So I'm going to be a reverse a bit, and you can see my video very well. Okay, we're gonna change it and get the piece of clothes. Okay, you need a piece of clothes, you need a twelve, uh, twelve or thirteen. I'm gonna show you because of. Before you do everything, this one, battery, turn, take out the, this one, plus, plus side you have to take out because you don't hurt yourself, okay? You have to remove the battery first. Then we have a right key, we need a 12. I'm going to put the 12. Yes. Get the 12, this key, can you see, it's 12 sizes, I don't know, your car have a different keys maybe, for me, I need a 12, even I don't know, take out, so, it's really, yeah, I don't need a key, I can take out easily, so take out first before you start doing anything about, around this engine area so and then you need this key this is 58 millimeter 58 this tool you need it with the no dirt inside okay so you need this one and so I also need a where's the tube right there Antisys, you need this one for the plugs. Okay, you got it? So you need this one with the handle. So anything handle like this, this has to be same goes over here. Okay, then like that. Okay, with the 58 millimeter. So when you buy a spark plus, you can buy the same place for suitable tool for you. So this is my new spark plugs
is original genuine Lex, uh, Lexus part so it's a genuine one so Toyota original so you are gonna do right here take out this one easy I'm not gonna replace the my uh, the harness because of this is very good so looks seems good so I'm gonna replace only my spark plugs do the one by one then you know uh, Wow, look, we have a random misfire because of this, you see, it's very bad, you know, it's, it's getting very, very old, maybe they like, uh, they didn't change maybe like five, six years, that's why we have a random misfire, okay, if you have a bad like this, you have to replace everything, if you, especially P3, P3, 3000, means you have to replace everything. So make sure, whenever you go, it's a little bit hot. Whenever you buy, make sure it's the same sizes. Whenever you go to the part shop, bring the old one, the, take the old one, and then check with the part shop guy. It's exactly the same uh, gap over here, okay? So before you do, clean over here, okay? Everything, and put the piece of clothes right there. And then we're gonna do get the new one. Use the antisys. Very small, okay? Not too big. Enough. Okay, put him back. Get the tool like this, okay? Go inside. It's magnet, it's automatic go inside. Easy. You don't have to be a mechanic, you know I'm not a mechanic. So you can do it yourself, even girl or boy. Not a big deal, okay? But please do the one by one. So don't uh, don't get confused. So do one by one. That way it's very clean. Over here, you go like this, okay, until all the way, okay. Okay, right there, and then you're gonna go over here very small tight smoothly okay don't go hard don't break inside anything like this very small that's all and then go inside put in back with the nobody that's all easy game okay next time we're gonna go take out the second one Very clean, no, even the very old, not oil around. If you have oil around, that means very bad. So, you're gonna go inside. Okay. So, only thing I have to ask you, you know, so I'm not a mechanic, but I do the correct way for you, so I wanna save you money. You know, I, we work hard too much and then we have to save money because we do not give any money for the mechanic, you know. They, I know they want to make money too, but 
I know you don't have money, so like me, so we work hard, we have to save money. That's why I want to teach you everything. Please subscribe my video, you know, I'm just asking, you know, I can put more video for you like this. Save you a ton of money, you see, very bad, very bad. So, please subscribe my video, I'm just telling to you, you know, like if you subscribe, it's very helping because I want to get the, uh, you know, like, I want to get some tools. So... Well, here the other one we're gonna do. So I wanna get good place to do everything for you. Then you can see clearly very well my work. So okay, here's USA California right now. So like evening time, nice time. Sun goes down. So okay, right here we're gonna go inside slowly. Don't hit both sides because if you hit uh, if you hit something for the uh, gap, it's going to change. Then you, if you replace the new one, it doesn't going to work because of the, if you hit something and change the uh, it's, uh, gap, it's not going to spark. So, right there. Okay. You see, slowly, slowly, okay, easy. Right there. Go inside, put in back. That's it. Okay, we're gonna go third one. Don't break the harness. So, you can go and make this space over here. See, it's very clean. If you have a oil, everything over where is a bad, you have to replace everything, okay? I'm gonna replace my harness. It's very good. Condition good. So, I'm going to go inside, slowly. Wow, you see, very dirty, nasty. Remember, P3 zero zero coordinates is a random misfire, so you can uh, change one or two. If you have an eight cylinder, you have to put eight. If you have a six cylinder, you have to put six plugs. If you have a four, like me, you have to replace four, no matter what. So, but like I said before. If you have a 301, it means one cylinder. So if you have 302, it's a two cylinder, okay? Misfire. Like this. You have to do very smoothly, okay? You have to tie it up very smoothly with the you know like don't tie too much like i said if you break something inside you're done you want to take out whole gasket to figure out that one so you see i touch like this that's all Before you go over here, before open, please clean inside, okay? Because of if you open and drop something inside, so it's not good. 
okay like not even 10 minutes time to uh, do these things but if you go for the mechanic he's going to say okay can you drop your vehicle and come uh, like within two three hours they want to show you see it's a very bad very bad means this is has to be changed the the, the things not good okay so i'm going to show you if you have like this right now that means this thing's bad see i told you this thing's bad it's broke, it's break, and it's, that part has to be changed for sure, okay? Remember, that's why if you see oil like this, please you have to remo uh, remove the, this, uh, replace this wire, this harness. That's why I just look, see? I caught this one, so I have to replace this one, but I'm going to replace right now because I didn't order my part. I'm going to replace after this video. So you have to be careful if you have like this oil everywhere, change, you have to change this harness, please. If you have a brake like this, don't replace it, okay? That means uh, it's going to be bad again, so you can do like this. For me, I'm going to just tell you how to go and pick it up my harness just because of uh, I just saw it. Go over there, like this is the, my last one. This is the four cylinder. So we're going to go like that. Here. Yeah. See, smoothly, smoothly, right there, see, that's it, look, I, I'm going to go and drive chain this one because I have one car only, so I'm going to go pick up this part because this is very bad, so don't do that, if you have a part before, you replace it, before, go and replace the part, so I'm going to tell you one more thing, okay, how, as a beginner, how do you know uh, which part you take it and how do you know exactly you how to buy the uh, your same model for the car. So I'm going to show you right now. Before you buy a part, so take your book or take your clean title or registration it show up right there VIN number vehicle identification number so go for the this paper or go for your VIN number with your hand and go and pick up your parts if not you're going to pick up the wrong part believe me so take this one before you take any parts for your car same model car same VIN number and go and pick it up your parts okay let's go and start so you can come inside uh, no, you can stay though, it's a candle, go and just check it out. Oh, I forgot. Before you start, remember, you take out the things. You know you've done everything, so you have to replace back, okay? Wow, good, right? Not like less than 10 minutes, you are on the mechanic, you're done. Please subscribe my video, please, I need your help. So subscribe my video, put the views, any problem, any question, uh, hit me here with a message. And if you need my phone number, I can put right away, message me. Please subscribe my video, I'm going to be new more video like this and I'm going to save you a ton of money, believe me. So I'm there, thank you.